Today we're going to talk about a new project we're working on about getting better sleep. I know many of you suffer the way I have, a life of poor sleep. And that's what this is all about. We're going to experiment on myself and hopefully something will come up that will help me get better sleep. I can't remember an extended period of time in my adult life where I felt I was getting good sleep. I also can't remember a period in my adult life where I didn't feel tired. I'm obviously doing something wrong, so let's address it. I came up with this idea for the video while I was making a video about complaining. And the one thing I complain about in life more than anything else is probably how tired I am and the lack of sleep that I get. It's not unusual for me to average four hours a day for periods of time, extended periods of time in life, where I've got almost no sleep. It seems I just go days where I might get an hour here, half an hour there. Times when I close my eyes and feel like, okay, I'm going to get some good sleep. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm going to be asleep for seven, eight, nine hours. I close my eyes. I wake up and literally 15 minutes has I passed. But I felt like I've been asleep for days. Things haven't been that bad for a while. But where they're at now is I'm getting approximately four hours a day, four and a half hours a day. I'm assuming that's why I feel so tired all the time. Uh, I have tried other things like getting more sunlight, which does seem to help. Getting more exercise, which does seem to help. But I can't find this, seem to find a consistent pattern of things to do that makes me feel that I'm not tired all the time. I have spoken to a few doctors about this situation. Unfortunately, they have not given me any anything to actually make me feel better. I have taken medicine uh, to help me sleep longer. It does not actually help me sleep any longer, but that's okay. We're going to work on it. We're going to try different things and see what actually gets us to a place where I feel, okay, I'm not tired anymore. So the first thing I'm going to try in this new experiment is I'm actually going to schedule out my sleep. I'm not going to feel guilty about not getting enough sleep. And I'm going to try, most importantly, to sleep in 90 minute cycles. So what does this mean, 90 minute cycles? Well, basically, the most, the least I'll be able to sleep up to is 90 minutes. So let's say I, I am making a plan to sleep and uh, I see I have, let will make it simple. You'll see I have 200 minutes available to sleep in a certain period of time. Well, 180 minutes is what I'll aim for and what I'll set my alarm to so that I will be awakened by 180 minutes. I won't get extra time over that. Now, the reason for this is that uh, I've, I've seen and read information that states that uh, sleep over that period is not good for you. It can make you feel worse than if you just slept for within that 90 minute period. It has something to do with your rhythms and uh, REM sleep and things like that. But let's forget about the actual science of it all and just try it. Um, like I said, at this point, I wouldn't say I'm desperate because I've been living with it for so long, but I just want to try something new, see if I can make some progress. I've been working on other things like uh, taking a, a nice shower, clearing my thoughts, reducing screen time, all these different things. And, uh, you know, they all have a certain effect, but ultimately I get back to the same place where I'm not sleeping and I am tired. So trying something new. This is what I'm trying new. I downloaded a, uh, a sleep app off the play store from Google. Uh, there's tons of them and, uh, We'll see how that goes. It's supposed to be able to monitor how good my sleep is. Uh, it looks like a decent app. I'm sure that uh, uh, there are plenty available out there. The next I have tried the sleep watch. It watches that monitor your sleep from Garmin. It seems okay. I don't know how uh, good they are. I just don't. I think you just need to have some kind of consistent pattern for them to have much meaning, if any meaning at all. So, that being said. It's okay. I'm working on it. That's what we're doing. Uh, so I think let's go over it one more time what it is I'm actually going to be doing over the next 
week. Well, originally, I was going to title this uh, Hell Week, the week without sleep. But uh, after planning things out, that doesn't make much sense. It looks like uh, I will have plenty of sleep in totality. Uh, it's just going to be broken up. Uh, there's no excuse to get four and a half hours of sleep with my schedule. I have plenty of time to get more sleep than that. And when I talk about four and a half hours sleep, it's not four and a half hours to sleep together. It's two hours here, hour and a half there, an hour there. It just, it's just broken and painful at times. Um, so trying to break that pattern, see if, you know, what I can do to make things better. So once again, I'm trying to try, find find some sort of sleeping pattern, some sort of sleeping cycle that I can live with. Not, not just live with, that uh, makes me feel great, makes me feel stronger, makes me be more productive. I am going to find this cycle that makes me feel better. So in order to do that, the first thing I've done is plan out my sleep for the week. Now, uh, we're not aiming for eight hours a day. I'm not aiming for uh, uh, more than that. Eight hours a day, of course, times seven is uh, 56 hours for the week. Uh, right now, based on the chart that I've created, the maximum amount of sleep I can get if I slept every moment that uh, I have scheduled out, I believe is 60 hours, approximately 60 hours is what I can get in sleep. Now, the longest period of sleep, I believe I have one period of six hours, but it might be four and a half hours. That's the longest uh, amount of sleep I will get at one time. Now, in my schedule, it is possible for me to move things around for two days out of the week. I have, you know, situations in life that it's just impractical to sleep eight hours a day straight, continuously. I have kids to take to school and pick up and work and more work and different things to do. So it's just not easy. So I know going into this that I'm not going to be getting eight hours of sleep. So I did have some guilt in the past about not sleeping eight hours or thinking that uh, something was wrong if I didn't sleep eight hours. But I, I probably slept eight hours at a time, two times in the last year, maybe, maybe. I don't, you know, I, it's, uh, you know, it's not something that I think I can get on a regular basis, at least not in my present state. So I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not uh, thinking about that. I'm not trying to get that uh, in any way. And in the current schedule that I have, it won't happen. It's uh, I'm going to be awakened uh, at the six hour mark at the latest, I believe, or, you know, the uh, four and a half hours, depending on what the schedule says. Um, I do have a couple of 90 minutes I believe a couple of 90 minute uh, sections. But anyways, if I do sleep the entire time, I'll get uh, 60 hours, which of course is more than uh, the eight hours a day times 56. And like I was saying, my average sleep right now is probably very, very close to about 30 hours for the week. Uh, all of it broken, of course. So I don't believe that uh, I'm depriving myself of anything that uh, I wasn't already not getting. I mean, I'm not uh, getting it already. So I'm trying to work with what I have, uh, not feel guilty about not getting more, and seeing if it improves the state of my being. I uh, feel I'm actually doing and being much more productive in my life lately, despite the lack of sleep. But I want to be more productive. I want to get more done. I want uh, to fix this feeling of being tired. So that's what this video was about, about letting know what's going to be coming up in this video, what I'm trying to do, uh, some of the results I'm going to be getting and some updates. So that's where it's at. So this will be my first update.